Hey guys, it's Neha. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this delicious carrot cake. This carrot cake is quick, easy to make and utterly mouth-watering. And this carrot cake can be made really really quickly without any fancy equipment. All you need is just a whisk and you can make it anytime. Now let's get to the recipe. So first up we're going to mix all the dry ingredients. In a bowl, add 2 cups of all-purpose flour. Add 2 teaspoons of baking soda. Sprinkle half teaspoon of fine sea salt. Or you can just use normal salt. And I'm using 1.5 teaspoons of ground cinnamon. This will add so much flavor into the cake. And mix everything together. Once all the dry ingredients are combined, keep it aside and we're going to work on the wet ingredients. First up in a big bowl, add 1 and 1 fourth cups of vegetable oil or you can use canola oil. Along with that, add 1 cup of granulated white sugar and 1 cup of lightly packed brown sugar. Whisk this all together and you don't need any hand mixer or anything, you can just use a normal whisk and just mix it all in together. Now we're going to crack 4 eggs. We're going to crack in one egg at a time and then whisk it so that it's well combined. And you have to do this with four eggs. If you missed out any of the ingredients that I've said before, you don't need to worry at all because I'll be linking them all down in the description below so you can check them out anytime. If you're new to my channel and you like my videos, then make sure you subscribe to my channel as well as click on the bell down below to receive notifications every time I post a new video and I post every single week. Now it's time to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. I'm adding this in two parts and I'm going to gently stir it until they disappear and the batter is smooth. You can also use a spatula if that's easier for you. Now I'm going to add the rest of the dry ingredients and mix it all together so the batter is smooth. For this recipe, I'm using 5 to 6 carrots. I know it seems like a lot of carrots, but that makes the best carrot cake. And I like to hand grate my carrots since I prefer the texture, but you can also use your food processor or buy pre-grated carrots from the store. So first, I'm just peeling all the carrots.
and now you have to grate them. Carrots have a number of health benefits. They are weight loss friendly food and have been linked to lower cholesterol levels and improvement of eye health. The grated carrots would come up to around 3 cups. Add all the grated carrot into the batter and mix it in all together. I'm also using half cup of chopped walnuts. You can absolutely skip this part if you don't like nuts or if you're allergic to them, but it just adds a great texture to the cake. And you can also add half cup of raisins, but I'm not doing that because I don't really like raisins, but if you do, then that would be amazing. Brush the sides and the bottom of the base with some melted butter. You can also put some parchment paper on the base of the cake tin. And while you're doing this, preheat your oven to 176 degrees Celsius. You need to preheat your oven for at least 15 minutes before you put the cake in. Pour the cake batter to the cake tin. And now you can pop it in the oven for about 45 to 60 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. And here you have the amazing, beautiful carrot cake. Look at how moist and fluffy this cake is. It's absolutely delicious and everyone should try it out. My family loves this cake and I'm sure yours will too. If you like, you can also make some cream cheese frosting to pair up with this carrot cake and it will taste absolutely delicious, but I would just like to eat this by itself. Thank you so much for watching and bye!